Welcome back out to another one of our standout students, Kayla Burgraff here with Ruthie McBride, who is a sophomore at Salada High School. And Ruthie, first of all, sophomore year, how's it been going for you so far? It's been okay. It's not my favorite year of high school, but it's been going pretty well. You said there are some classes that you're in that you are enjoying, though. Let's talk about AP U.S. history, first of all. What made you want to challenge yourself a bit to, to start off with and go to the AP class as a sophomore? Well... It looks really good on college applications, so taking AP classes is good for that. But once I actually started taking it, I realized I really liked it, and it was really interesting. We were saying that U.S. history, you guys are into the the Reconstruction and kind of towards the Depression era right Mm -hmm. now, but what intrigues you about history? What, What sucks you into that subject? Just learning, like, how much has happened, like, I guess before our lives is really interesting, how long humans have been around and how many times like we've screwed up and how many times we will screw up in the future is just interesting to learn about. Definitely quite a few times <laughs> that you can add to that list. You were saying, though, that, that American history is nice this year, but if you really could choose something, you'd go way back in history. Yeah, I would go back to like the BC area and learn about like just how long humans have been around, you know, and how we survived like way back then. It's just really interesting to me. Well, being in this part of the world, too, you get a lot of that around just the, the, the old Indian tribe and Native American tribes around this area. You said also that foreign languages are something that you're into this year and you're enjoying your Spanish class. We'll talk more about why, but what are some of the things that you've learned this year in Spanish? We're just learning like basic nouns and conjugations and just how to form basic sentences. So really basic stuff, but I, it's really important to learn how to communicate. You know? How do you best learn language? What are some of the tips that are tricks that help you kind of pick up the knowledge? I just really try to study it and actually learn that, like the conjugations and the sentence structures instead of just like cramming before a test. Actually trying to learn the conjugation and like think in the language while you're trying to learn it helps a lot. You're getting ready to head out in a semester to to go on a foreign exchange trip, going to Argentina. What made you choose that one first of all? What's the process been like? The process was really crazy. There's like a lot of applications and essays you have to write to get into it. But I mostly like chose Argentina because of like the warm culture, like family is the number one thing for them. So I thought if I was going to live in a different country, I would want to do it like somewhere where they have a really warm culture. Anything you're really looking forward to when you actually make that break and get over there? I'm looking forward to seeing like Patagonia and the landscapes that we get to see on the trips. I'm also just really looking forward to just immersing myself like in a different culture and just being in a whole different world. There's still going to be education going on down there. You'll still have classes mm-hmm. and, and that's going to break you into a new teaching style. So yeah. what are some of the things you're hoping to see from teachers down there that will help you out, especially being in a new culture? I'm hoping they'll just be really patient and understanding with me, like not being completely fluent in the language and just be willing to kind of work with me. Talk a little bit now about the the process of getting involved into the foreign exchange program and, and, and getting ready. What would you, what advice would you tell somebody to, to get them ready for going into that or if they're nervous about it or scared about going into it? I would tell them like just asking their parents and taking that first step is really, really important. And just being brave enough to take that first step is huge. And just making sure that you're like secure in yourself and you know for sure that like that you want to make that step and go and live in a different country because it's a big step. <laughs> Definitely is a huge step and one that I'm jealous of that you're getting ready to go out and take. But <laughs> before we do that, let's bring it back to Salida really quick for a moment. And and what are things that you, you're going to miss about the town when you're over there for a year? Things that you know you're going to uh, to want to be able to, to experience again when we come back? I'm definitely going to miss like the mountains and the river and just our landscape around town and being able to mountain bike and ski and all that because I know that I'm going to be in a region of Argentina that's flat where they raise cattle so (laughs) I'm definitely going to miss our little mountain town and I guess just my friends mostly. But hey, you're going to be near the beach, so yeah. you got that going for you in the end. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking some time, Ruthie, to talk with us, and good luck as you get ready for that yeah. trip, and good luck as you keep going on your endeavors here in, at Salida for this year. Yeah, thank you.